Warning! The following video is intended for viewers 13 years and older. Viewer discretion is advised. You're here. You're ready. Welcome to my world. Welcome back YouTube, it's I'm Ghost of Sparta with another fantastic action figure review of the SH Figure Arts Chi Chi from Dragon Ball. We will look at accessories, paint apps, sculpt, and articulation. Please make sure to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to mash that like button so you can help support the channel. And that really does help support the channel. Make sure to check out in the description below for all my social media sites so you can stay up to date with the channel. So let's get to those size comparisons. Chi Chi with Marvel Legends Deadpool. Chi Chi with SH Figure Arts Goku. Chi Chi with NECA Predator. So now that we have the size comparisons out of the way, we can take a look at Chi Chi's sculpt. We can look at her articulation and her paint apps. So we're gonna take a look at her paint apps. Now this is the exact costume she wore when she met Goku in the series Dragon Ball. It was the same bluish color, had the white outline. And it, it actually was like an armored look. So it wasn't just like, you know, a swimsuit or anything like that. This was kind of like her princess, like battle uniform, because she is technically a princess. A lot of people forget that of Fire Mountain because the Ox King was the king of, of uh, Fire Mountain. You know, the big dude glasses, he normally wore like suspenders. A lot of people forget that. So technically Goku is a prince. Just throwing that out there. So this is exactly what she wore. The blue is very nice. It's vibrant. vibrant. It's a, like a royal blue. The pink is great. I love this color pink. It's actually one of my favorite colors of pink is this one. I don't know what pink, the actual color it is. I like to call it like highlight pink or uh, bubblegum pink. But yeah, it looks nice. It's a perfect color and it's exactly the way she had it in the actual show. Now, as for sculpt work, the way that they sculpted her face captures her innocent little look. And so it was gonna, it's gonna capture what you need with the figure and when you display her with Kid Goku. So it's gonna give you that vibe, you know, that she's from the anime, you know, and it, cap it captures that very well. The eyes are painted beautifully in there. You know, you could see her innocent little face and I love it. I love this figure, it's perfect in almost every way. I give it a solid A because they were able to capture everything she had. She even had this little cape now, mind you, I'm pretty sure the cape was a little bit better and not flimsy paper. This is literally paper. That's I do have a gripe with that. And it's a teal color. And yeah, I don't know why couldn't they just give us some cloth. I don't know why plastic is such a big deal with figures. Just give us a cloth cape. I think it would have been a lot better. And it would have been fit the figure, I think, a lot better as well. So we can also see some detailing on the feet as well. They also have the detailing of her helmet. Now this blade does come off so you can have her look like she threw it, which is very nice and has a good edge to it because that's one of her weapons. She actually throws this at her enemies. So we got all of the paint apps out of the way. We got the artic, not the articulation. We're actually gonna get into that right there. So they were able to paint the back so they didn't skimp out on that as well. And I'm trying to be very professional with this because, you know, this character is a young character and it's crazy that they were they wanted to do this character for this collection. And I mean, you can't have Kid Goku without, you know, Kid Chi Chi. In other words, you, you couldn't have that. You need to have this character with if you're going to do the Dragon Ball line. And so, I mean, she was pretty much in this outfit all the way up until they went to the martial arts tournament in Dragon Ball. So I'll just give you guys like a brief little lecture on Dragon Ball. But yeah, she was pretty much in this outfit until Goku hit like 17 or 16 when he went to his first martial arts tournament or second martial arts tournament where he was older and he actually fought Chi Chi and she was wearing her normal stuff that you remember her in Dragon Ball Z. She actually wore that for the tournament. So this is pretty much what she wore th throughout the entirety of Dragon Ball, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. I like to hear you guys. I like to read your guys' comments as much as possible. So uh, sculpt work. I mean, it, it's a small child. Can't go wrong with that. I mean, she has to be like 10 or 11 years old, like Goku. And, uh, you know, it works perfectly. They were able to capture the character and be able to make her from page to figure. So it was pretty nice. 
So we'll go over the articulation. Head moves up, moves down, swivel, arm rotation, hinge, swivel, bend at the elbow, swivel, and a hinge. Diaphragm joint back, forward, side to side, wivel, waist swivel, leg kicks up, kicks back, spread. FBI, open up! Bend at the knee, wivel, swivel, hinge, rocker, and a toe. Now that we have the articulation out of the way, we can take a look at Chi Chi's faces. She comes with a total of four faces that capture pretty much the character in all aspects. We have the neutral, you know, just joyful face right here. You know, she's just smiling, this little smirk smile. The eyes are done beautifully. We have the upset or crying face. You know, eyes are closed. You can see the emotion, you know, yelling. Her mouth is completely open there. We have another face here with a nice wide smile. You know, I think it's funny that the artist chose to do no teeth in Dragon Ball. And that's how it was when they would smile. So I don't know if it was maybe to save money or anything like that. And then we have the angry face yelling with the mouth completely open. So, and the eyes, man. The eyes, it almost looks lifelike to me in that regard with these figures. And it just bottles my mind like how crazy that they're able to get that much detail with the figure so let's go over the hands now chi chi comes with a total of three pairs of hands and it has one other extra hand for her left hand which is the pointing hand which is here it actually points she has this little pose where she's pointing with her finger and i try to show you guys on the camera even though i have the camera zoomed in let me get a like for that guys make sure to like and subscribe for the channel show your support you know because this figure is so awesome and i know you guys love to support this channel also check out my other review that i did of who did i do my review on i can't believe i forgot my own review the last thing i did was i did a deck profile for Yu Gi Oh guys so if you guys haven't seen that go ahead and check that out it's for the dark magician deck so if you like Yu Gi Oh, you know if you're, you're into the fan of the foil check that out i also did a review of mafex toys batman really check that review because that review is pretty neat and the batman is fantastic guys you guys really need to check that out so don't forget to subscribe for more videos guys please so chi chi comes with a, po a total of uh like i said three pairs of hands she has two like peace sign gesture hands she has a pair of karate chop hands a pointing hand and some fisted hands so that's pretty much rounds up all the accessories that chi chi comes with except one more and i'm gonna roll it in and we have the dragon ball now Chi Chi, I think, is the second figure to come with this Dragon Ball that I thought I lost. I don't know why they went with this instead of the translucent plastic. Maybe because they're using the translucent plastic for the Ginyu Force. And also just to get people to pick these up um, so, so they could pick up the figures. But I don't know why that they chose this plastic. I mean, I like the way it looks. The stars are on top. I mean, it's pretty... I want to say it's probably hollow. I don't think it's... I don't think it's not... You know, I don't think it's solid. I think it might be hollow because there's a hole at the bottom. But I don't know why they chose to do this with this paint. I like it, but why can't we just get the transparent ones? I think they would have done a lot better. So that rounds up her accessories. Now, taking my time with this figure and posing her around, I did find some limitations. The shoulder pads that she has kind of get in the way in some of the articulation she has a nice butterfly joint so that way she can get some extra armed movement but i did notice that the shoulder pads do hinder the range of the shoulder so if you're trying to do like arm like have her arm raise all the way up or if you're trying to have her arm go out to the side or something that they do get in the way but they're articulated there is a joint in there for them to move around but it just seems that because they're so bulky that they get in the way of posing her, you know, to be able to do like a scene where she's pointing or she's raising her hand up, you know, to say hi or wave. Those things are kind of limited. So you have to be very careful with that as well because the joint is very fragile, but this figure is super cute, guys. It's gonna work perfectly with your display if you're gonna have her display with Goku on Nimbus because Kid Goku did come with the flying Nimbus. So I really do recommend picking this figure up for yourself so that way you can add it to your collection and be able to have the complete gang there obviously this is goku's future wife if you haven't seen the dragon ball series sorry but that's a spoiler that you're just gonna have to get used to 
and with all the accessories that you get from her you're able to recreate you know every pretty much every scene that you wanted to in the series where she got mad she was sad she got embarrassed because it does have like an embarrassing face that came in there i forgot to mention that so i mean i really enjoyed reviewing this figure this figure is super cute guys for the collection make sure to check it out if you guys want to see some other reviews please check out in the description i'll have other reviews for that as well i did the batman from mafex uh the dark knight returns and i love that figure you guys need to check out that review as well so with all of that said, make sure to subscribe, guys, and hit that like button. Let's get those likes really high because that really helps support the channel as much as it can. And I will see you guys on the next review.